Yet every story of human endeavour is about breaking through barriers. We all know perhaps the most wonderful story of all that gives the example that everybody in using the history of human endeavour likes to demonstrate with is the story of the four minute mile and many of you can recall that wonderful occasion because up until 1954 it was said the human will never be able to run a mile in under four minutes. It is impossible the human body is not able to do it. The lungs aren't big enough, there aren't sufficient muscles in the legs. The human will never be able to run a mile in under four minutes. It is physically impossible and it had never been done. Dr. Roger Bannister, while he was at Cambridge University, knew that he could run a quarter of a mile in under a minute. And he visualised and he thought, putting four quarters together or under a minute, he could do that. And he set out and did it. Within the first year, after he had run that first mile in under four minutes, 32 other people had done it. Had those 32 other people suddenly got big lungs? Had they grown great big legs and big muscles? Had they produced new running tracks or got bigger spikes? None of that. One believed he could, and the other said, if he can, I can. You see, so many of us build barriers beyond which we think we cannot go. False ceiling, ladies and gentlemen, and the whole history of the human endeavour is about going through barriers. We build barriers at work where we can't do that, or it's never been done before. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. And if we're always thinking of the yes, we can, it's amazing how we go through these barriers. We must believe that it is truly possible. Now, a great positive thinker will always understand life as a whole. And it's to see the potential of relationships. It's to see the potential of the oak tree as against just the acorn. We've been talking about customer care and what that relates to. Seeing what might be. Do we treat people as the oak tree or just the acorn? Years ago, when I was forming my first training company, we arranged for a printer to come along and have a chat to us because we wanted a brochure to be printed. We were excited about our new brochure. We did a little bit of artwork, and this printer turned up. We showed him the bit of artwork we'd done, and we were, as I say, very excited about our new business and the direction we're going. And uh, he obviously asked the question. He said, and how many brochures do you want to have printed? And we said, we wanted 500. And he said, 500? 500? We don't even start our machines for 500. He was Mr. Big Deal Printer. And he made us feel so small. Who were these silly guys wasting his time? Because he was Mr. Big Deal. Well, he left that meeting. Some 18 months later, we were doing a lot of direct mail and a lot of inserts into magazines. And we were having print runs of 30, 40, 50, 60, sometimes even 100,000 at a time. Well, this same 